demonstrate how to properly install a flange flow tap assembly while the pipe is in service. Note that the mounting hardware for this assembly contains a special alignment ring. This ring is important for two reasons. One, it keeps the drill bit stable during drilling so the hole is perfectly round. And two, it guides the sensor through the mounting hole and provides additional support for structural integrity. For these reasons, we highly recommend using only rose mount supplied mounting hardware. Since the pipe is in service, no hole should be drilled in this pipe until after the flanged assembly has been properly positioned and welded in place. You can then install an isolation valve. To do this, position a gasket on the mounting flange and place the valve onto the assembly and fasten it to the flange with the supplied nuts and bolts. Check that the gasket holes are aligned so the bolts will pass through. Be sure the valve stem is positioned in line with the pipe so that when the flow tap is installed, the insertion rods will straddle the pipe and the valve handle will be centered between the rods. A hot tap drilling machine is required for the next operation. They're available from TD Williamson and other manufacturers. Make a mark on the hot tap drill bit at a point that will assure full penetration of the pipe wall, but not any further into the pipe than necessary. Be sure the valve is completely in the open position. No process fluid will escape since the hole has not yet been drilled. Next, mount the hot tap drilling machine to the open valve with a fresh gasket. When mounted, check that the valve can be completely closed and then reopen. Next, lower the drill bit into position. Mount the drill motor onto the machine. When mounted, start to slowly drill through the pipe wall. Turn the insert mechanism in short bursts to break up any large metal shards from the drilling process. Use the pressure vent on the side of the drill mechanism to purge shavings occasionally once you have penetrated the pipe wall. Stop drilling when you reach your predetermined mark and remove the drill motor. Next, retract the drill bit past the valve and then close the valve to isolate the process. Open the pressure vent to allow pressure and drill shavings to escape. After venting, go ahead and remove the drill mechanism. You are now ready to insert the annular sensor into the pipe. To do this, we recommend using a hoist strap and crane to position the annular up over the mounting assembly and isolation valve. Install a fresh gasket on the valve and use the flange bolts to attach the flow tap. Tighten the nuts in a cross pattern to compress the gasket evenly. Next, check for the high and low pressure markings on the head so the annular will be properly oriented when inserted into the pipe. Be sure to confirm the orientation by checking the flow arrow. Next, tighten the packing gland nuts. Then attach the instrument valves and be sure to check that they are closed. Now, open the isolation valve to pressurize the annular. Use extreme caution if the flowing medium is caustic or steam. Check for any leakage. If any is detected, close the valve, re-tighten all connections, and then reopen the valve. Next, attach the rod protectors. If you are using a gear drive to insert the annular, attach the drill at this time. Remember, do not exceed 200 RPM on the drill. As the insert retract rods pull the annular into the pipe, watch for the orange warning stripes. These stripes are present to indicate that the end of the sensor is approaching the far side pipe wall. When the orange stripes just reach the gearbox plate, turn off the drill and continue to move the sensor using the manual crank. Place a finger above the packing gland while cranking. When movement stops, the sensor is in contact with the opposite side wall. Turn the handle an additional half turn to secure the sensor. Then secure the drive mechanism by inserting the drive lock pin. Finally, retighten the packing gland nuts. If the unit did not come assembled as a flow meter, you are now ready to attach the transmitter to the flanged flow tap assembly.
485 Anubar flow meters are available in a variety of assemblies with numerous types of options. Please take the time to read any and all technical publications that came with your shipment. There are details in those documents that are specific to the hardware you purchased and may not have been covered in this training. In addition, all documents are available online at www.rosemount.com.